Hello everyone, how are you today? So today we're starting the first lesson in chapter 12. Chapter 12 is all about representing and interpreting data. Today we will learn how to collect and record data. What is data first? Data is information collected or facts collected. How can we do that? By uh, taking a survey. So one way to collect data is by taking a survey. What is a survey? A survey is asking a lot of people a question or several questions, but you need to ask them the same questions. So when I'm, when I'm making a survey to collect data, I will need to ask the same questions to several people or a lot of people. Where do I put these two, these data? I put them in one of two tables, either a frequency table or a tally chart. It will help us to record the data. So now we learned ways to collect data. One way is by, how can we collect data? Is by making a survey. And we said that a survey is asking a lot of people the same question or different questions. A question or a, a question or a lot of questions, but they have to be what? The same questions. This is very important. How can I record data? I have two ways. Either by a frequency table or by a tally chart. Today we're going to learn all about these things. Open page 691 and let's go through example number one together. Mr. Alvarez surveyed his scout troop. He asked each of his scouts, what is your favorite camping activity? The results are shown. Let's organize the data and complete the table. Now here he showed that he's showing his data on this board. He has three activities, swimming, hiking, and fishing. And he wrote the name of the scout who's, who voted for each activity. For the swimming, we have one, two, three, four, five scouts for hiking one two three four scouts for voted for hiking for hiking for the fishing one two three voted for fishing so one way is by using the tally chart let's take a look at this tally chart what is the title of this tally chart favorite camping activity what are the activities swimming hiking fishing now let's Take a look at the tally marks. So swimming, we will write five tallies because five scouts voted for swimming. For the hiking, we wrote four tally marks because four scouts voted for hiking. And finally, for fishing, we will write three tally marks for the three scouts. So each tally mark represents how many scout? Only one scout. Now, another way is by using the frequency table. We have a lot of missing information in this table that we need to fill it out. Now, first, in the frequency, under frequency, we write the number of scouts. Uh, we have here five. Um, the scouts, five scouts voted for what? Which one had five? The swimming had five. So the activity is swimming. Let's take a look at the table after we filled it. The activity is swimming. And what about hiking? Four scouts. Fishing is three. We can fill this frequency table either by this uh, by this information that he gave us or by using the tally chart. Let's take closer looks to both together. 
the tally chart for the swimming it has five tally marks so here we write five in the frequency for the hiking it has four tally tally marks so for the hiking we write number four for the fishing we have three tally marks so we write number three in the tally in the frequency table now let's write the second question in the in the same example is write one sentence about the data that was recorded write one sentence let's take a look at the charts let's take a look at one of the charts here let's write one sentence we can write we can say that um, the least favorite camping activity is fishing why because only three voted for fishing so the least favorite is fishing or what another thing that we can say we can say that more scouts enjoy swimming compared to other activities why more scouts enjoy uh, swimming because swimming had because five scouts voted for swimming that's why it's the most favorite camping activity now turn the page to example number two in this example i want you to do it by yourself i want you to make your own survey you will go around your house you will ask everyone in the house a question and you will record it in this table here so in this table you're going to record your answers you can use a frequency table or a tally chart so you can use numbers or tally marks now let's see what are you going to ask you're going to ask each one which type of lunch is your favorite so first we're going to start here by writing the title of the table we will write favorite lunch then in the left row we will write the lunch types which are grilled cheese pizza peanut butter and jelly sandwich i will write pb for peanut butter and j for jelly sandwich and finally or spaghetti now here what are you going to write you have two options either you write here are your two options you will write a frequency or you will write tally if you're going to use a tally chart so you will choose tally if you're going to to do a frequency table so you're going to write frequency so if i will write a frick if i will do a frequency table here i will be writing what here i will be writing numbers if i will use a tally chart i will be writing what tally marks just remember this part carefully now after you're done you will ask the question to each of your a family member or you can even ask your nannies your driver anyone in your house organize your data your data and finally step number four you need to write one sentence that describes your survey results for example if most of them said pizza like you have 10 for pizza uh, five for grilled cheese four for peanut butter and two for spaghetti so the most is pizza so you're going to write that the favorite lunch for most of them is pizza or you can write the least is spaghetti it's up to you
it's according to the, to the data that you're going to collect and I want you to write one sentence that describes yourself. Now let's go through the guided practice together. The data shows the sport, sports cards mo most frequently traded in Mrs. Patton's class. Organize the data in a tally chart. So here we have a frequency table. Look, we have numbers. That's why I knew it's a frequency table. We need to put these data in a tally chart. Okay, let's start. First, what are the sports? Here we have the sports. Basketball. How many tallies for basketball? Three. So let's count together. One, two, three. The second one is baseball. How many tally marks for baseball? Six. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next is football. How many tally marks for football? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Finally, the last sport is hockey. How many for hockey? Five tally marks. One, two, three, four, five. Now, let's answer the question. Which is the most popular sports card to trade? The most popular. Most means I want the highest number or the lowest number. Yes, I want the highest number. Which one has the highest number here? Nine is the highest number or the greatest number, which is for football. So football has the greatest or the most. Now, which is the least, which is the lower number? Let's go back to our frequency table here. The least number, the lowest number is three. So which is for which sport? Basketball. So basketball has the least popular. Football has the most popular. popular. And here we finished question one in the guided practice. Now, let's talk about it. What is the difference between frequency table and the tally chart? You can uh, video record me the answer or write for me the answer on class dojo, but don't forget to answer. I'm waiting for all of your answers on class dojo. And now go solve the next page by your own and don't forget to do your homework in Kahoot! Bye-bye!